Welcome back to the series on screencasting. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through the interface of our editing software, Adobe Premiere Pro. If you haven't downloaded Premiere Pro yet, there is a link in the description box below and there should be a free trial for around seven days. We're gonna first take a minute and understand the workspace. Once you first launch Premiere Pro, there will be options to open an existing project or a new project. For us, we wanna click on new project. Once the project window launches, we will see these blocks, each of which will have a purpose that we will get to. You can move these boxes around as you like and clicking the options where you see learning, assembly, editing, and etc. will give you different setup for each. But right now, let's just stick with all the panels. The bottom left block says project and that's where your project files are going to be. And that means your camera footage, your music, your audio, your pictures, and that's how we organize our project. The other options like media browser and such will help you get around files on your computer. Directly on the right of the box, we'll have a set of tools. These tools will help you manipulate your footage, so remember where these are, and we'll use them in a future video. Then we have the timeline. This is the most important part of Premiere Pro because this is where you will be doing most of the editing. We will be dragging our footage into the timeline later. Right above that is that main box where we'll see our video while we're editing. That's where you can preview your video while you work on it in the timeline. To the left, we'll have some controls. Those will change depending on what is selected in the timeline and what effects are being applied. Talking about effects, there are some stock effects in Premiere Pro and those will be in the effects library on the right hand side box. That's also where you can change your color, your captions, and plenty of other stuff. To get started, let's take that file we recorded earlier and drag it into our project window. You can also double click the project window to import your media. Once the file is imported, we're going to drag it over to the timeline. And as you can see, now we have a clip in our timeline. If you click on the clip, you'll see some default options pop up in the effects control. And you can see a marker that you can scroll through the footage and preview it in the project window. Now that we have our clip in Premiere, it's time to talk about editing. And we'll talk about that in the next chapter.